Hello friends, this is Worm, and I'm back today with another episode of our Fix-It mini-series, the series where we take a look at every single sub-archetype of weapon inside of Destiny 2, and how we can improve them or reduce their effectiveness to bring them more in line with uh, all the other weapons, without diminishing their specific purpose. And I want to point that out very importantly. Uh, but with that being said, today we are moving on from auto rifles and bows, and we are on to our first special archetype special ammo archetype which is fusion rifles and we're going to start of course with the high impact fusion rifles today uh and I, they're high impact i mean i don't really know where else to go uh beyond just that it's evident that no high impact weapon in destiny 2 ever feels like really good or is ever really going to be a meta option this is partially because of the way just the game is like it's a fast-paced game and uh you know these high impact weapons they really wants you to play in a slow ranged manner right and that's not that's not the fun way to play the game okay everybody likes to be fast paced this is why things like fast firing auto rifles things like uh you know uh shotguns uh submachine guns high impact or not i'm sorry uh, high rate of fire pulse rifles are all like more preferred than these high impact archetypes because these allow you to be right up there on the battle lines and they kill fast they they deal decent damage and you're not really you're not, you're not being slowed down and really with high impact fusion rifles that's where the that's that's where the biggest thing comes from for, to me because i was playing with these they don't feel bad in terms of their damage like it's not like their damage is absolutely trash like it's it's they hit hard they hit really really hard and they hit for decent da like they do hit for decent damage like i really think that the reason why people aren't using high impact fusion rifles without the with the exception of a couple and we're going to talk about some exceptions here in just a second but i think that the reason why people are not using high impacts is just because they shoot slow they have a one thousand they have a one second charge time and guys again one second oh that's not that much no one second is forever especially when most of your weapons in in pvp for example kill in less than one second substantially less than one second when your uh you know most of your other fusion rifles charge in you know or most of your other uh viable fusion rifles i should probably say charge in like half a second like a uh, one second is forever and mind you one second is the time like you have to commit to it like you have to sit there you don't get to jump you don't get to sprint you don't get to you know throw grenades and stuff you know like think of all the stuff you can do in one second in destiny 2 like you can get a fusion rifle shot off you can get you know uh several shots from a primary off you can throw a grenade you can use a class ability blah 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 unless you're using a high impact fusion rifle then you have to dedicate that one second charge time to charging up and shooting just to deal a pretty pretty decent amount of damage but it's just it's not enough okay and also you know another thing i said uh just to say deal there are there is one actually there's not or i should say there's one high impact fusion rifle that i think is uh mm, i don't want to say regularly used but it's used inside pve content and that's glacialclasm but why do people use glacialclasm not because it's a high impact but because of the role that it has it has a very unique role you can get subsistence and um uh, reservoir burst on it okay so it hits even harder causes explosions and of course when you get kills with it, it just reloads it allows you to kind of chain that super high damage shot and you know forever blah 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 so um with that being said the, the the issue that i see with high impacts is they just they're so slow they are so desperately slow and nobody wants to play like that and, and so that's where i think that we have to balance out the trade-off and here's the thing i don't think that speeding up the charge time is going to do us any good because speeding up the charge time is just going to put them in the same category as adaptive fusion rifles and then uh, at that point it's like what's what's the point of doing that right because then you just have two archetypes of fusion rifle you have adaptives and you have rapid fires we don't want to do that we want to keep it the same but i think that again just like with high impact auto rifles we talked about if you're going to uh, if you're going to want players to commit to a high impact weapon, you need to make them feel good. You need to make that trade off for having to slow down your play style, feel really, really good. And so that leads me to the first buff that I think that they need, which is a buff to damage. Now, at first I thought just a general buff to damage, but then I started thinking about what is a high impact fusion rifle good for? All right what is its what is its intended purpose uh it's not a boss damage machine i mean it takes a second to charge up like that's just that doesn't make any sense maybe if they're heavy ammo they could work better uh but they're not a boss damage machine they're also not an ad clear machine they're they're their niche to me is falling right in that middle of the line majors 
champions uh you know mini bosses that's where high impact fusion rifles should be handling and they should be handling well at now what can we do in terms of damage it's quite simple buff the damage against those are like that 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 i guess major tier um of enemy orange bars champions mini bosses not bosses not red bars <clears throat> we don't need a buff to boss damage don't need a buff to red bar damage but a buff to those other enemy types would go a long way for this archetype of weapon because again it that's that's what this archetype feels or sub archetype i should say that's what this sub archetype feels like it is designed to do is to handle those high health targets you know you you know there's for example uh, a revenant knight okay an orange bar knight and you know where he is in the in the knife hole so you get your fusion rifle out start charging you walk around the corner you should obliterate that knight in one shot and in most in most content uh you do in most content but in, in higher level contents you should be able to obliterate enemies with that with that high impact frame fusion rifle and again one uh, same thing with all the other high impact frame weapons once you start going up in terms of combatant difficulty you know go from your um I forget the new names of it, but like your your expert to your master to your uh whatever the names are, all the way up to grandmaster though. Once you get to grandmaster, <clears throat> pardon me, then it's like okay, well why would I use you know a high impact fusion rifle? It takes forever to charge up, blah blah blah, because I you know you can get instantly obliterated. Okay, mind you, that's something we're we're gonna talk about too in just a second. But you know why would I take one second to charge up this fusion rifle when I could get decimated by this knight just to deal you know half damage like damage half his health bar at most like I, I don't even think it's half when you're in a, in a grandmaster situation like i think that it's it's only like uh for maybe 40 percent at most like maybe 40 percent um <clears throat> i could be wrong though if i'm wrong correct me in the comments but with that being said like there's there's that's not a good trade-off okay so increasing the damage so that at least it feels a little bit more risk reward because again okay i've got to charge this for one whole entire second which is an eternity in destiny 2 at least i know that i'm gonna take this this yellow bar knight now in one shot or get him weak enough so that my enemies can then pop out and finish up primaries whatever it is like not this kind of this tickling enemies in in grandmaster nightfall um but with that being said i think that buffing up the damage by a decent margin too i, I you know we talked about damage boost we didn't talk about how much i think that the damage against these majors and 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 mini bosses champions stuff like that should be increased i would say probably by like 60 60 to 70 percent you know i would i would say at most like absolutely at most 75 percent just because i like that nice round number um <clears throat> but you know 60 to 70 percent would go a long way because it would it would take those fusion rifles to a point where they are able to decimate those 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 specific targets that they're that they're designed to kill you know those champions those those orange bars and really the orange bars is is what's sticking out to me the most because orange bars are in absolutely everything and orange bars can be kind of annoying uh in higher level content you know base level maybe not so much but in as you climb up even one difficulty level then it gets tougher but you know uh yeah i think a damage buff is in order for that but also you know we just talked about in super high level content you really you really it's a risk reward situation and right now the risk not uh, i'm sorry is not worth the reward it's not worth sitting in the open for one second charging up a fusion rifle so that i can deal damage to a whatever target you know and at least with that damage boost it would make it more more worth it but what i would say is with specifically high impact fusion rifles give them some sort of fortification when you're standing still or when you're moving slowly so of course with high impact frames we already get those boosts to um you know to, to accuracy and stability and stuff like that when you're standing still slash when you're moving slowly but i think that with fusion rifles in particular you should have a little bit more you should get additional fortification more resilience you know plus three to your resilience maybe uh or just uh you know maybe a 10 15 damage reduction just across the board that way as you go out there you can't sit there forever while you're while you're you know holding it but it gives you more of an opportunity to step out take some damage while you're moving slowly you're holding still getting that shot off and then boom you go back to cover you get the shot off you go back to cover right like i think that that would be a perfect way to handle that and again it's only for high impact fusion rifles like i i almost want to say all high impacts could use this but at the same time most high impacts like historically have a 
a uh, decent bit of range you know high impact scout rifles high impact sniper rifles even high impact auto rifles they've got like 40 plus meters of range you know but with uh with high impact fusion rifles i think that their range is typically capping out at about 30 meters uh but even at that like it's not an effective idea to use them at 30 meters because it's still a fusion rifle it still has that kick still sends those bolts out in in a pattern that can easily miss one unless you're up closer to a target so i think that giving high impact fusion rifles that additional resilience bump or that damage resistance while you're sitting still and holding them uh or shooting them and you could even go a little bit further and say when you're charging it you get that additional damage resistance only when you're charging it okay when you're done charging it then it goes away blah blah that way you know it's not too much you can't go out there and you know i don't know do whatever uh go out there and get it revived but even then it would make it a strategic decision hey i'm going to use a high impact fusion rifle that way if you die in the open i can go get your revive a teeny weeny bit easier right but yeah that's it though i mean those are my ideas for high impact fusion rifles again i, I think that their damage isn't it's not bad like i don't want to sit here and say high impact fusion rifle damage is bad but again for the trade-off of having to be still or having to slow down our game and have that tedious one second charge time we need to have something to balance it out okay and and i you know it's again it's all about player feel because i'm sure there's some people that are like oh i don't mind slowing down for one second but the majority of players don't like that i don't like that i don't like to have to slow down i don't like using high impacts because then i got this slow charge time that just doesn't feel very good but yeah with that being said though i want to hear your thoughts on high impact fusion rifles what do you think about my ideas what, what changes would you make to them hi bubba and uh let me know all that stuff in the comments below uh come here you want to say hi <laughs> <clears throat> He wants to say hi uh, let me know all your thoughts and stuff in the comment section below of course if you like today's video do me a favor drop a like helps channel a lot subscribe for more daily destiny content you guys do me a favor watch the videos you see here on the end screen because for whatever reason youtube thinks you'll like them i'll see you on the next one bye for now